Howdy and welcome to the Mount Man Initiative where taking the initiative is our business. Today I'll be showing you how to reinstall your badges or trim on your vehicle. Specifically, this application will be tailored towards my 1989 Dodge Ram Charger. Some of the things you'll be needing are your trim or badges, some sandpaper like 150 to 220 grit or green scotch bright, some brake clean paper towels, masking dash painters tape, specifically low tack is what you'll want to get, and then obviously the adhesive dash glue you'll be using for your badges or trim. First you want a light scuffing on the area directly underneath your badge or trim. Um, you don't want to go down the bare metal or anything, just very light, nothing crazy, not, not too harsh. And you'll be using your scotch brite or sandpaper. Um, for me I was using 220 grit sandpaper for this application. The reason behind this is to help the glue have something to bite onto to have more of a stronger mechanical bond uh, to the surface so it doesn't fall off as easily. Next you want to spray your brake cleaner on the area you just prepared to help wash off any extra dust, dirt, and grime, and nastiness off the surface that will impede you from bonding to the surface. Um, be careful with the brake clean. Some paints for me, like if you have a rattle can truck like I did here, um, that black spray paint there, uh, it has the possibility of eating it up a little bit or making it gummy. Uh, so just an FYI on that. And then give the chance to let the brake clean just simply dry off. It has a high evaporation. So it'll just be gone in seconds. So just give it a second and it'll do its thing. And then once it's done drying, uh, just lightly dust the surface with a paper towel to make sure there's just nothing else on the surface or, or whatnot, just to make sure that it's good to go. The next thing you want to do is grab your masking dash painters tape, low tack again. Got to be low tack because duct tape is not going to be your friend in this case. It'll be a nightmare to clean up. With that being stated, you're going to want to make nice longer pieces. Um, for me specifically, it's better to have too much than too little in this case. And then from there, I use six strands for my application, but it's going to be different for you and everybody else on how they like to do things or their needs. Now what you want to do is take your badge and plan a line for your glue. You can see that's what I'm doing in this section from top to bottom, um, and we're going to be going on the heavy side. And we don't want this badge to come off. As you can see, it's very grilled, so to speak. There's a lot of lines in there, so we got to get that filled up. And at the same time, you don't you got to be careful that you don't put too much on too because you don't want it to fall out the bottom of your badge or trim either because you have too much going on. Uh, per the instructions on the 3M glue that I got it says use a thin layer on the surface and so I'm going to take this chopstick to make that happen to get a nice even large surface area and you can see how I'm dressing that glue to get it all nice and even like that. Um, that's what's going to allow me and you to get the best bond possible. You know more surface area more stick area you know more bond area now once you got your badge all glued and dressed up you're going to take your badge or trim and then press firmly onto the surface that you're sticking it to real good I'm using my full weight on my vehicle here to do this and it could be 10 15 20 30 seconds 20 30 or 60 seconds depending on your case um, you can see here I didn't do it that long I thought that was good enough for my application and what you want to do is take your tape like so that you got prepared and place it at the bottom and go up and over and when you do that you want the tape to properly try to form around the object you're going around um, you want to do this for two reasons one you're trying to keep the help the badge or trim stay up and then two you're trying to maximize pressure with the tape to keep the badge pressed against the vehicle the best you can um, so that way it doesn't fall off and then after you get it all taped up definitely go back and look underneath and inspect to make sure you just don't got any glue running down. If you do your job right like I did, uh, that won't be a problem. Now I plan to let this dry here in the Texas 110 degree heat for a few hours, um, but the glue says let it dry for 30 minutes and then it also says on the packaging fast drying, so I don't know what the hell that means. So um, I just don't feel safe with that. Uh, especially with the stiff suspension I have, I want to give, again, this every chance to bond and cure properly. Again, do what feels right for your application. If you're in a colder climate doing this, you might need to let it be sitting on the vehicle for 24 hours. Um, just an FYI, just do what you think is best for your application. A bunch of different ways to skin a cat, you could say, with the times. Now, while the glue dries, let's hit on a few quick points. Um, you don't have to scuff, again, the surface like I did in the beginning. Um, I just did that because that's what makes me feel safe and 
again, like I said, I can't help but repeat myself, lose my rare badges. So that's why we're doing that. Now on the 3M plastic emblem and trim glue that I got, it could be some super nasty stuff. Um, you might want to use some gloves like I did to apply it and put it on the vehicle. And on the other thing to note, it has very, very aggressive solvents in it, like acetone, I guess. I'm not saying it has acetone, but it can be pretty nasty and can't eat the paint of your vehicle. So you definitely want to take a dab of that glue and put it somewhere uh, underneath something on the panel where there's paint, but it doesn't matter because the road grime and dirt is going to wear it off anyways. And give it a test to see if it eats your paint or not before you go full bore. Uh, last thing you want to do is damage your nice paint job. Well, now it's in the future. Now since it's all done and drying, go right ahead and remove that tape to admire your work. Your badges are on, your trim is on, it looks phenomenal. Bonus points if you got McGuire hyperdressing and you put it on that badge and make them really, really shine and look pretty. If you happen to like this video or it happened to help you in any way, please like, comment, or subscribe. That lets me know that I'm doing a good job and you guys are actually getting meaningful, useful things from me. And also, most importantly, have a good one and thanks for watching. And do not forever forget to always take the initiative.